tray? Okay, thank God. I really want to be with you. If that's what you want. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I didn't know how I would feel when I would be ready to take the next step, but I know how I feel now, and it's perfect. Oh, get it together, Manning. Why are you so nervous? Oh, Michael cares about you. I need more mascara. Star. Hmm. Trey. Uh, what are you doing here? Does, does, since when do you knock at your own door? Since I forgot my keys, but since we are trading explanations here, who are you expecting? Forget about me. What happened at the hearing? The commitment hearing? Yes. Did you finally get your mom sent to Shady Brook? Can you do me a favor? Just please don't call her that. All right. Connie. I'm sorry. Connie. Did you get Connie committed finally? Mm, no, I Not didn't. That we agreed we didn't want the woman who killed Cole and Hope to be free to walk Sorry, the streets. Just, just wait, just listen, okay? Why did you back out on me? No, I, I didn't back out, I swear. Look, Alexis filed the motion for me to become the legal guardian to Kate Howard, uh, a.k.a. Connie Falconary ad litem. You know, she said that I had concern for her mental health and that I was afraid that she was a danger to herself and everyone else. Okay, well then what happened? Something that none of us really expected. The judge, she was never my mother. That, you know, she didn't even know until recently that she even had a son. That, uh, you know, therefore, how could I possibly have her best interests at heart? And I mean, let's be honest, she is, have a point with that. I really don't give a damn about her best interests. I just want to lock the woman up. Okay, but that can still happen, right? Please do not tell me that Connie convinced the judge that she's totally sane. Not yet. But she did schedule a hearing for her and Zakara to tell their side of the story. Oh, sounds like really bad news. Look, I have no idea what Connie and Zakara plan on saying to the judge tomorrow at the hearing. But, you know, even if the judge doesn't buy their explanation, there's still no guarantee that we can get her committed. I mean, yeah, I've got the legal authority to do this, but then, then I've got to tell the judge. Hey, I I'm sorry, am I boring you? Hello? What? What? I'm sorry, it's just Michael was supposed to meet me here, and I don't understand what's taking him so long. Oh, whoa. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> That's why you answered the door all sexy time. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, please, I can demonstrate if you like. You're kind of like this, and you... Okay, would you stop? Yes, I thought you were Michael. Could we drop it? Wait a minute, I thought he was going to take you to this party at the Haunted Star. What? The, the, the whole thing there. Why didn't you guys come home together? Because he had to run an errand. Condoms. Would you shut up? What? Come on, I'm just saying, like, if you would have told me, I could have done the guy a favor and let him borrow one of mine. I mean, maybe not, because they are like triple XL, but whatever. Hey, we're roommates, right? We're going to learn a few things about each other that we never really wanted to know. Okay, but I would still like it if there were some boundaries, and I would like it for you to respect mine. Fair enough. Thank you. Look, it's not the end of the world. It's not like you guys, I don't know, have a hooked up before, right? Oh my god, you guys have never hooked up before. <sighs> Fine, Trey. Michael and I have not been together yet. Are you happy? Okay, I didn't mean to make you get all defensive. We're taking things slow. We've been through a lot. Everything with Cole and, and Abby, it's... Yeah, I get it. It's, it's hard to lose someone you love. Yeah, and I would like to know what's taking so long at the drugstore. Maybe chicken out. Well, I'm sorry. You can be scary sometimes. No, I'm serious, Trey. I'm really nervous. I mean, Michael's uncle just got shot. They haven't found the oh, killer. Okay, we whoa, don't whoa, know. Whoa, whoa. Let's not go into total freakout mode. I'm sure he's fine. Maybe the drugstore just ran out of condoms. Are you kidding me? My offer still stands. I appreciate you trying to make me laugh by you talking about your sex life, even though there isn't any, but I'm really worried about this, Trey. I'm worried about Michael. Michael, 10 minutes ago, and he hasn't texted me back yet. Well, maybe he's on his way already. Well, then where was he before? Well, what are you doing? What? I'm going to walk to the Haunted Star. Hopefully, I'll find Michael along the way. Okay, well, just wait. Trey, no matter what you say, I'm still going to go and look for Michael. What I was going to say is I'm going to go with you and help you look for him, okay? Okay, sorry. I... Where were you? 
you. Uh, where are you going? Nowhere. Whoa! Actually, yeah, look at that that time there, kiddos. I'm uh I'm gonna go to bed. Um, you guys have fun. Don't worry about earplugs. Would you stop? Don't pay any attention to him. Where were you? I thought you were just going to the drugstore. What took you so long? Yeah, I uh I got a little delayed. Okay, Michael, if, if you don't want to do this tonight, I can oh, no, completely it's understand. Not, it's not, it's not that. Well, then what is it? Michael, what happened? I just... I just saw my father. <laughs>